Welcome back to the Relaxing Ghost Channel here on YouTube. As always, your host with the most ghost. Today, we got a suggestion video from MarkBoy316. Want to give him a big old shout out today. And he asked me this a, a couple weeks ago, so I apologize, Mark. Um, haven't forgot about you or anything. Uh, it's been, you know, a little bit busy here. So go check out Mark Boy's channel. Link in the description down below. He asked me a couple of questions uh, regarding my collection, what DVDs I first got when starting my collection. Um, this is for me is going to be a kind of two part answer because my collection started way back in like 2003. I didn't know it at the time, but my love for DVDs started way back then. I would get rid of those DVDs, but I kept my VHS tapes. Um, you know, that's just how it worked out. You know, I always had the VHS pay-per-views and DVDs were new at the time. I didn't really have a DVD player until I got a PS2 around this time in 2002, 2003. So, you know, that's why I always had VHS tapes. I didn't, I didn't have a DVD player. I wasn't fortunate to, to get a DVD player. Um, so some of the first DVDs I ever had were from 2003. And these are some of my favorites. You know, you go back and I watch these all the time. You know, I got good memories with these DVDs. Um, the first DVD I can remember having, and I'm going to tell you some of the other DVDs I got when getting back into collecting. And again, I, I really wasn't going after every single DVD at first, but that's kind of what it turned into. So it never really starts like I want every single DVD. That's never how it starts. Um, let's, let's not be, uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves. You know, you know, when you're a kid, when I was a kid, I didn't really have the choice if I wanted this or this, or I want every single pay-per-view. My mom, my, my father, they give you, you know, here's a gift for Christmas, your birthday, Easter, whatnot. So yeah. The first DVD I remember having is the Raw 10th Anniversary set. And awesome little digipack here. This kind of DVD set is so awesome. Definitely recommend this DVD. Um, and little editor's note. When I got the Royal Rumble 2003 VHS tape. It had the raw fifth or raw tenth anniversary on that VHS by mistake. They must have printed out all the rumble cases and put the wrong film inside. Uh, maybe that was just happened one time. Who knows? But yeah, raw tenth anniversary was always uh, one of those first DVDs I ever had. Next up, uh, one of my all time favorites. The best of confidential. All I'm going to say is definitely check out that DVD. Um, very underrated set. Next up here. You know, I, I'm guessing I got these around the same time. It's going to be Rey Mysterio 619. And the Brock Lesnar Here Comes the Pain. I remember having both of these. And the confidential set. And yeah, at the time of 2003, I'm only maybe 14 or 15 years old. So, you know, I'm in high school by this point and, you know, I, I didn't have a job or anything. So whatever I got as gifts or whatever, um, you know, that's, that's what I ended up with. And yeah, 
I don't have many 2003 VHS, but I, I always remember getting these DVDs. The 619 DVD especially, that was a that was a big DVD for this time. Rey Mysterio just coming to the WWE, that was a really fun set. Same with the Brock DVD. You know, Brock was a beast in, uh, in 2002, 2003, and he was getting a big push at, at this time. Next up here. So there's a pretty big gap between the next two, but... You know, I I fell out of wrestling for a couple of years, maybe a year and a half or so. And, you know, I was walking through the Kmart here, which is, uh, it's Zellers in Canada. I don't think there's many of those left anymore. But, you know, I seen all these hardcore wrestling DVDs. I'm like, man, I got to get these. It was ECW Bloodsport. I always remember having this DVD for the Taipei Deathmatch with uh, Ian and Axel Rotten, you know, the, the taped glass on their fists. And I, I love hardcore wrestling, so I always love this. I got a big three-pack, which was Hardcore Homecoming, the uh, Forever Hardcore. It also had the Rise and Fall of XPW, which were two very, three very good sets. I also had that epic anthology of TNA with the first three pay-per-views. Um, so yeah, I didn't have a big collection of DVDs growing up. Um, I, I had a few movies as well, uh, you know, on DVD. But, you know, we were still in the VHS phase in, in 2002, 2003. Um, so it, it's like save the money, get the tape, whatever. I didn't really think about, you know, they would phase VHS out, you know, nobody really thought of that. But yeah, I'll always remember having these hardcore wrestling DVDs. Um, I I might have had One Night Stand, the first set, because I believe they, they were packaged together. I might have got that. I'm not 100% sure, but I know I had Bloodsport. And what really got me going a few years later, just walking through the, the Kmart there, the Zellers, and it was this set, Sean versus Brett, one of the all-time greatest DVDs they've done. And I was like, man, I got to get this. It was like 20-something dollars in Canada. You know, so pretty expensive for a three-disc set, even in 2011 when this was released. Bought it brand new, and yeah, I was hooked. I loved all the artwork and whatnot. Beautiful Digipack, and that's another video I got to do is the favorite Digipacks or the best Digipacks based on artwork and whatnot. This DVD really got me going and wanted to see more. You know, unfortunately, I wouldn't start collecting more until a couple years later. Um... At this time, you know, I'm watching YouTube and Mark did ask a second question, which I will do a separate video for. So, so at this time, you know, I'm watching YouTube and whatnot and seeing all these cool DVD sets released. It was the Raw 20th set. Don't know if you can see it there, but that Raw 20th set, it just looks so awesome on, uh, on people's videos and all that. It wasn't here in Canada. I went out that day, couldn't find it at the Walmart. I was I was kind of bummed out I couldn't get that. So, you know, a little bit of time passes and then I'm like, you know, I should, you know, just started checking pawn shops and whatnot. I ended up getting the Bret Hart DVD. That was like one of the first DVD sets I got. And I think I got that with the Best of Raw and SmackDown 2013. These were like five or six bucks a piece at a pawn shop. So I was like, yeah, I just started checking out all these pawn shops near me. There's not many where I live. You know, pretty small city here. But there was, at the time, three of them, you know, pretty close to me. So I would go, you know, once a week, every couple of weeks and 
you know, see what they had. And then I would end up getting the Edge DVD. Fantastic, you know. And, you know, going back to that Greatest Rivalries DVD, that was uh, that was where my love for Digipack started was with this. You know, I, I just loved the three-disc set, the the artwork, the, the look of it. You know, so much content on over three discs. And then you get, you know, two fantastic documentaries. It's really incredible. You know, they didn't have much selection, you know, at the time. But, you know, you you keep going. You, you find different spots. And... You know, I, I would end up finding, you know, DVDs like this and then Rey Mysterio DVD. So, you know, I, I just started kind of buying ones that I thought would interest me or, you know, guys that I enjoyed. If I stumbled upon a Hardy Boys DVD, I thought about picking it up. I started buying pay-per-view DVDs if I found them. I found like the SummerSlam, a couple of earlier SummerSlams, like two, 2011, 2012. And it just kept growing and growing. And yeah, fantastic question, Mark. So I want to thank MarkBoy316 once again. If you guys have, you know, a, a list of your first DVDs you picked up, make a video about it or comment down below some of the first WWE DVDs you ever got. Those are some of the first ones I ever had, including the, uh, you know, Hardcore Homecoming and whatnot. So those those were really cool to have back in the day. You know, I didn't hang on to them, but I got them, got them back eventually. So as always, guys, we'll talk to you later. Peace.